Hi everyone. So now is the time when we really start to dream of that beautiful garden again. And the other day I took a trip to the dollar store, not necessarily for garden items, but to pick up a few things and lo and behold, they have really started to fill their shelves up with gardening supplies. So each year I make several trips to the Dollar Tree to pick up on items that I pick up on each season that kind of helps me along the way as I start my garden planting, as I start my seeds inside. And so I want you all to stick around and I'll show you what I picked up on this trip. And I definitely know, I know for a fact that it will give me a jump start on starting my seeds inside. And they also have a lot of decorative garden items too to make your area look very nice. But this right here, y'all, is a first that I have seen at the Dollar Tree. They may have had it in your Dollar Tree, but for the first time, I am seeing at the Dollar Tree where they have soaker hoses, y'all. Can you believe that? They have the soaker hose and they also have the hose accessory kit. Now, I did not get one today, but that is definitely a first for me. So let me know if you've seen these in your Dollar Tree before. Now, if you have kids and want to teach them where food comes from, I think these grow kits are really perfect, how they can just take a seed and watch it grow. I think this would be very fun for them. And just like I said, the Dollar Tree has all type of things to get you going with starting your garden, whether it be flowers or vegetables, and they even have items for the birds. So let me go ahead and I'll show you what I picked up on this trip from the Dollar Tree. So let's go over a few things that we got. Um, I always pick these up each year, just a few of them. These are the seed starter greenhouses. And what I like about them is they come as like a three piece set. So you get the humidity dome right here. You get the 12 pack cell trays, and then you also get the tray um, with no holes so that you can bottom water your seedlings. And I like to use these especially for things like my lettuce and greens because sometimes I'm just going to be honest y'all I don't feel like pulling out the 72 tray cell pack or the 128 and planting a whole lot of seeds so if I just want to get something started real quick I will use these now I bought some last season I will tell you over time the sun does um, make them crack. So I think I ended up throwing away maybe like five or six because the actual tray with no holes, those um, ended up cracking. Um, the domes did okay, but just the bottom one here. So I just like to have a few of these on hand. Now this is something, this size of, of pots are new for me, or either I just didn't see them last year, but you get six starter pots and they're about, they're 4.7 inches in diameter. I got two of these and they come six to a pack because I started thinking about um, plants that once you might take them out of this, you'll need to pot up. And I started thinking about uh, the plants like my zucchini, like my um, squash, cucumbers, um, even tomatoes. So if it's not quite time or the time is not right for you to plant them outside yet, I felt that these would definitely be a great holdover until you can get them outside. Now, I always keep this size on hand. This is also starter pots, but they're three and a half inches and you get 12. And these are just perfect for starting um, pretty much flowers, vegetables, whatever you want. And they're also good for potting up. Like I think last year I started a lot of my herbs in this size pot. So here is my new find. 
and they I know did not have these last year these plant clips because I ordered them off Amazon and I paid way more than a dollar I want to say I paid maybe like $25 maybe a little bit more for these plant clips and they were 80 it was like an 80 piece and they still had a variety of sizes you got your small and you got your larger ones now I do have the like green tape that you can um, tie around like the bamboo uh, sticks to hold your plant up but um, they over time wear out from the sun and dry up and I just find these are so much quicker like I used these a lot last season on the cattle panels to clip up like my cucumbers or clip up my uh, tomatoes I really use them on the tomatoes and I also use them on my eggplants especially when the fruit got a little bit heavy I would clip them to the bamboo stake so that they could um, be upright and don't break the plant off and 20 piece y'all for a dollar so I'm getting a hundred because I got five I'm getting a hundred of these for five dollars now the ones I got last year some of them did over time with the sun um, pop or snap but if I can get 20 of these I'm telling y'all they are so much easier for me to just clip them on and just keep going and then at the end of the season I just pull them off and store them so this is what I picked up from the Dollar Tree comment below let me know if you get any type of seed starting supplies from the Dollar Tree and what do you get I'm really um, interested in knowing and as always thank you so much for watching this video and also give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your family and your friends and if you're not a subscriber we would love to have you as a subscriber, so make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching, and until the next video, bye-bye.